So Paul, why don't you introduce Joe to the camera and what we're going to be doing in, in June in his backyard. Build you an aquascape ecosystem pond in your own backyard. Mom, are you in agreement of this? Yes. You got the yes? Big hug for your mom. Yes. Taking you, getting in at three in the morning, coming all the way in. Next time you'll see this guy, Joe, will be in his backyard. Joe, you ready to build your pond? All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, here we go, Elmhurst, Illinois. And uh, Jack is going to be, I'm gonna hand the camera to Jack because this is a kid-led build-a-pond day. <laughs> All right, I think it's right here. I think it's one of these houses, right? I think that's the house yeah, right there. The house. Let's go back there and design the pond first. So we got Jack, we got Blake, we got Joel, and then Paul's the last one out of the car, go figure. You went to bed at 4.30 in the morning? Yeah. But you got your upload done, right? Yep. That's I don't really up. function until at least nine. Here's the Motley crew. Let's see if we can't get this pond built by three o'clock today, boys. Shooting for three. Shooting for three. <laughs> Hello, Mom. I love it. How are you? Good. Hey, I love the shirt, Joe. How's it going, buddy? You excited? Did you sleep last night? No. <laughs> Either did Paul. That makes two of you. Let's design the pond. Blake and Jack, I'm going to let you guys design the water feature here. This is a kid led build a pond day. We'll let these guys design it. Oh, that's right. We got Maddie. Maddie's going to help out today. We've got the muscle right in here. Hey, Maddie. <laughs> and there's her mom. There All right, I love it. Hi. And you're just dropping her off and leaving and going yeah, to work, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a little worried, mom? Are you a little worried? No, I'm excited. <laughs> you're excited, dude? Yeah. Okay, well, well, you go with them. Jack, come on, the two of you. Okay, so this obviously is a really nice place to be in the mornings, evenings, whatever, when you're eating. Well, first of all, we want it close to the house so they yeah. can enjoy it, not behind the trampoline. The only thing that's uh, kind of a concern for me is just incorporating uh, the berm here because we're going to be doing the yep. so mm -hmm. we have that elevation to deal with all this dirt we're pulling out. So I would definitely want to put the, air, the pond in this area. It's just where we want to want to situate the berm to make it. You know what I also think is we would like to be able to sit by it too. So as close to that uh, that walkway as possible. Yeah. We can bring stones right up to the walkway. Yep. Mom, it might be nice when we get done with the pond, maybe add a little area that, you know, a little extend the patio out a little bit. Because you have a beautiful backyard. I have a question. Yes, Mom. We don't have a sump pump. Because the house is so old, it's got like the tiles around Yes. It. If it rains, could it flood into the house? No. We will put an overflow and we will, it, it won't have any problem. Just a small little six by eight pond. No, no problem at all. Normal no overflow question. Overflow. Not a problem. So what are we doing here, Blake? Everything's marked up already. Let's see this. Let's see. Savages. So I literally had nothing to do. This was, I just, this is literally these kids' design. So go ahead. Okay. So we wanted, wanted to get it as close to the house as possible just for interaction sake. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, just bring it around to this walkway. So we're going to put a big stone right here because it's kind of a destination area where you're going to look out over the pond. And then over here, we got skimmer just for easy access. We're going to run the line up here to the berm where we're going to have our biofalls. You can have a nice little stream coming in here. Spray paint out a little bit where the berm will actually go to. Go to you're probably going to connect it back to that tree, I'm assuming, coming yeah. up. So we're, I'm not going to want to have it any farther than here just for the sake of keeping this you know, nice and open. And then, yeah, just fan it out right over here. Just so that you know, Mom, yeah, we're gonna be making a berm all the way, basically, you're losing this much lawn. Okay. Okay? Whatever you want. We'll you can use the whole backyard. Way. We're gonna start with taking all the sod out, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the grass. We're just gonna take it out of here, and so when we dig, we're not having to re-dig up the grass. All this grass is coming out. So. All this grass gets put out and we're going to put it right over there. We're going to haul the grass out of here. All the dirt is going to be flipped over here. I'm just going to be on the outside here. So you guys, you guys do your thing. This is a kid led build a pond day. I was 12 years old when I built my first pond. You're 13. Blake, you're 17? 16. 16 years old. So Jack is 17. A 16 and a 17 are going to be the two leads here. And Joe, you ready to build your pond? All right, let's do this. And there's Paul. Paul's already starting to work. <laughs> All right, so here comes.
comes the side. The first amount of dirt we're pulling out. Nice black dirt. Yep. So we got a great day for this. Paul, grab a shovel. <laughs> All right guys, so right now we're taking out the grass. You wanna take all the grass out. You don't wanna put it where the stream's going because the grass is, as you know, can settle and decompose. So we're gonna take all that grass, put on the driveway, and then we're done, we're gonna load up in the truck and take it out of here. That's key. Do not put the grass where the stream's going or where any of the pond's gonna go. It helps in the long run. Okay, we're just starting to get the sod out here, but instead of dumping the sod here, we're just gonna take the rocks out right now and then dump the sod right in there. And the only reason that we're getting rid of the sod is we just don't wanna bury that on a small pond like this and have the grass grow back up. Then we'll move some of these rocks out. No one thinks they were gonna be done by three o'clock. That's what my time predictions are. Um, so, uh, Joel, what's your time prediction? Lunch. Lunch time? All right, that's, I like that attitude now. What's, your, what's yours? If we're out of here in a week, I will be thrilled. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. All right, Blake, what's yours now? Paul says three, I say two. That's, that, that's realistic. Paul, what do you think? What am I thinking of? What do you mean? Jersey right, Mike's? I'm just gonna go. Okay. Oh, time. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I get a little lost sometimes. Three o'clock. Same time as me. All right, this kid's got this kid's got a pretty nice setup. There's his there's his little tank right there next to his bed. All right, and where where's your flower horn? Right here. Right here. All right, let's feed the flower horn on camera. I've never fed him worms. What do you normally feed him? Just. Oh um, my! I, I have pellets there. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. ready to eat. I'm not. I'm not gonna hold it over. There. Oh, he's hungry. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready I to lost eat. A worm. Ooh. Just like that, sucked it in. He ate the whole thing? Yes, yeah. just sucked it in. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, here's all the pictures. Hey, look at this. This is when I met him. This is when we met him, right there. He's got it right there. That's a cool picture. Well, I love your room, man. It reminds me of my room when I was 13 years old. He's got another one. Can you eat this whole thing? Yes. Should I hold it? Yeah, yeah. hold it. I don't want him to jump out. Well, it's like a spaghetti Ooh. noodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like a big spaghetti doodle. Wow. Choop, choop. That is funny. You sure he's not gonna choke on that? No, he's a fish. Gone, just like oh, that. <laughs> he tortures his brother with the sugar gliders, huh? Just bite them. Cause they, they crawl on you and bite you in the neck. You prefer fish, huh? Over sugar gliders. <laughs> That reminds me so much of when I was a kid. My room, I had tanks galore in there. And of course, a great pond outside. All right, guys, so it's currently 9.45 in the morning and we got the uh, all the grass removed right now. Um, now what's next, Blake will take the can of spray paint. We'll remark the uh, pond area. We'll start taking the dirt out, put it in the berm. Now this pond will start taking shape. Got all the rock unloaded. These are some of the rocks. We got some big ones over here. These, these guys, we already know where this guy's gonna go, right here. This guy's gonna go right on the edge of the pond. This guy right here is gonna be going right there. Okay, so we're gonna mark the pond now. As Jackman has shown you, we're gonna have the skimmer sitting right in here. That way it'll be easy access. We'll have the lines for the water going right up there. We'll be out of sight, you know, no worry of that getting cut or whatever. And then this is a six by eight, so we're gonna go eight long, six wide. So we're gonna bring it out to about here, and it's gonna come right up next to the to this little patio walkway. So we want a nice big stone right here to even step on real field, really feel like part of the water feature. And then we're just gonna have kind of gentle sweep, and then sweep in a little bit and back out, come back around, and come all the way up to this edge. That's the general pond shape. Now this whole area here, it still has sod on it because this is actually gonna be higher than the level of the pond because this is our stream area. We're gonna set the bio falls right over in here. And then we're just gonna have a nice little meandering stream that spills in right over here. So that's the basic layout of the pond. We're gonna start digging, go about two foot deep, should be done in a 
flowers. No. All right, it's now about 1042, and we're gonna set up the, the plumbing where we get everything moved out of the pond. We need to set the biofalls because we're gonna be building up our berm around that. Here we have the bulkhead and the collar for the bulkhead. This bulkhead comes with a rubber gasket. So we're just gonna put that on the inside of the biofalls. Then we're gonna take the collar with another rubber gasket. Just gonna put that right on top there. Because when put under compression, those expand and they keep any water from coming in or out around the, uh, around that bulkhead. And remember the bulkheads are uh, reverse so threaded. Reverse thread, so that confuses a lot of people. You got me for a second there. And you got channel locks, which you should. Channel locks. So that's the plumbing. And then you just put this threaded uh, barbed adapter here. And this is gonna thread into here, but you put a little bit of this black silicone right along the threads here, and then that'll hook up to your plumbing. So that's the plumbing for the biofalls. Obviously I gotta finish it up, but we're just gonna set it right in here put the pipe, run it through, and then we can cover it all up with that dirt that we throw in. Oh, where we got? Oh, we'll cut that. That's not, that's that's a cable, that's simple. You can splice that, and then we'll just get a splice kit and splice that around that. Yeah, yeah that's not a problem. Or we just make this the deep section and keep this shallow. But no, 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 that's, that's literally right in the middle. You barely even dug this up. So we can just sl sl slip the um, pond over because about as long as it would take me to cut that cable and splice it and bury it underneath, we can just move the pond over a little bit more. So this is a nice thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move the biofalls back a little bit, and that's going to, and then this is going to be where the skimmer goes right here, right on the edge. And so this is this is the, the, the first shelf of the pond. So just move it over three feet in, and we'll move it out a little bit that way. That's the attitude. You know what? I love it. I come out here, and the kid says, "Where should I dig?" That's, that, okay. that's what we need. More I'm stuff like that. Can I just so, keep digging as far as I want? You keep digging and go all the way to China as far as I'm concerned. Let me get this on video. This boy's going to drop one Vinny. Down. Okay, so listen. When you eat it though, no way. you have to crunch it because I don't want that thing eating out your intestines. So crunch the thing. Come on, Vinny. Look at him. He's building himself up. This is how he gets Vinny. into the fraternity. Come on. Vinny. 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 You said it. We didn't even ask him, right? Vinny. Vinny. We had a worm before. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Vinny, you're on film. Pop it. It's going to go viral. I feel it first. You got it, buddy. Chew it though. Ew, oh, no. He quit. He no, quit. No, you can't. He was gonna do it, and then he didn't do it. Where is it? There's another it? one, Vinny. Joe, you're gonna wait. Wait, let me just see the one you just squeezed. Just chop it and then stick it. Oh, it's a lot. I'm not eating that. No, no. I don't want to eat this now. That's disgusting. Oh, come on. It's not gonna no. kill you. Can I get some I'm water? Yes. We'll get you right here. Yeah, we can get you ready to do water. Seriously, we've all eaten them before. Did you see what came out of that? Don't make him do it. Tap out. Just like tap out, Vinny. Straight up. Let's go. Let's go. You are nuts. I love my job. Okay. There you go, Vinny. <laughs> oh! 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 I didn't really think of anything. Come on. Uh, I didn't think of anything. Right. 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 So Vinny Again. built up a lot of hype, but I'm just going to go. Okay. Let me do the line, though. Give me another one. Ah! Oh! Oh my god. It literally tastes like almond. That's that blue. Is, he, he's he's thinking you're the man. It tastes like almond. You did it. Okay, so it's going a little bit slow. We've got a lot of activity here with a lot of different people, but we're probably about 45 minutes away from getting the hole completely done and the liner in. We're not going to finish when we thought we would, but that's okay. We're having fun. The kids are certainly having fun. We're building Joe his uh, first water feature, and that's really exciting for me. I love my job. We're putting down the underlayment right now. That's a woven geotextile fabric that goes underneath it, and that allows gases to escape and padding for the rubber liner, the EPDM rubber liner on top. Pond coming. Oh, yeah. uh, Greg's great. 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 actually doing work. Look at it, it's the boss oh. working. Oh, hey, Alright, we are just finishing up the edging. Before we cut the liner up there for the waterfalls, we're gonna go ahead and plug the pump in so that we make sure that we have no low edges. Uh, Joe, come here. I gotta do the honors. You Joe. can do the honors, man. The honors, Joe. 
Give birth to a new waterfall. Two, one. Uh, the skimmer going. Can you hear it? Oh yeah. There it goes. Exactly what I wanted. Listen to that sound. Now it's gonna pool up and eventually go right between there. Look at that. That's exactly what you wanted too, didn't you? Yeah. I must have done this before. Yeah, maybe once or twice. And then it's gonna cross over and so this is our little leak area. We got to fix that. Look at that. There we go. Holy moly. Yay! What do you guys think? Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Here it is. It's all finished. Hey, Joe, are you glad that you came to Ohio Fish Rescue and met Paul and the pond guy? Well, what I want you to do is I want you to go on the Aquascape Online Academy and I want you to study ecosystem ponds and then I want you to make this pond your own with the plants and the fish that you put into it and take care of it. Learn about how the nitrogen cycle works, how an ecosystem works. And I basically want this to be your new hobby out here in the backyard. And in three years, you come and get a job for two years. You're 13. Two years, you come get a job working for me after you've lived with your own Aquascape ecosystem pond. Mom, congratulations and welcome to the Aquascape family. I can't believe this is in my backyard. Listen to that sound. Well, and what's so nice about this, is this was just grass when we moved in here today. This was just grass. Yeah. And right there is your beautiful sunroom. You got your kitchen right over here. You got your living room right over here. And this is just a perfect little location as a backdrop for this rest of this yard. So not a bad deal, huh? And, and one day we did this whole thing. Amazing. <laughs> Make miracles happen. Hey man, bro. A nice destination rock right there that Joe can just walk onto and feed his fish. Up right over the edge, and then a beautiful waterfalls. Listen to that sound. And I gotta tell you, any day that I can get my hands dirty and build a water feature is a better day. I just have a lot of respect for my guys in the field that do this day after day after day. I'll be popping some Advil tonight. It truly is a labor of love, and to see kids like Joe, and I was 12 years old when I built my first pond, he just turned 13, and now he's got this water feature. This is a great neighborhood, it's a great family, and uh, I can truly say, I love my job.